Are you excited about going to Inchcomb Island? Yes, I'm very excited. I love islands and I love the little beaches at the side. I'm really excited about today. We're going to Inchcomb Island. It sounds really cool. It's got a dark cave which I can't wait to go into. It's got a castle and a church which Monk used to live in. These are the cameras that we're going to be using today. Every group has one. If I flip this out, you can plug it into the computer. It's going to be awesome. Do you want to be my person to be interviewed for Inchcomb Island? Okay, sure, yeah, okay. Yeah. Are you excited? Um, Come on, it's a trip. Well, I've been reading some books and they say that something terrible happened on Inchcomb Island a few years ago. Tell me, tell me. Uh, no, since you haven't heard, I don't think I should tell you. Okay. Terrible. That's about all I have to say. Today we're going to Inchcomb Island and I'm so excited. I can't wait to see the castles, to see the church and stuff and it's gonna be really fun. And I wish in the ferry I don't get seasick. How are you feeling today? Really excited about going to Inchcomb Island. And what are you most excited about? Going into the tunnel and the castle. Harry, have you heard this? Come in, come in! What? What's happening? We've got to see this. Monty, have you heard the rumours that Nathan's been telling about in Kim Island? No? What? What? What's wrong, guys? You're looking sad. Huh? Harry. Well, Harry, is that camera on? No, turn it off! off turn it off! Sorry! I'm really excited about going to Intercom Island. Aren't you? Yeah, but I hope the waves aren't too choppy because Someone might be sick. Especially on the boat. Oh. Hey, what are you guys doing? You're meant to be helping us. Oh, Christian's this... really sad. Nathan's been saying nasty things to him about Inchcomb Island. What's he been really saying? Really weird stories. Probably not true. Well, especially when we're going there. Why would he say that? Let's go and tell Mr. Salmon. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Christian. He'll sort things out. I'm so excited about going to Inchcomb Island. I can't wait. I just can't wait. We're gonna have a really yummy lunch, although I don't like sandwiches. Uh, what type of things do you think you're gonna do? Um, quite a lot of stuff. I mean, like looking at all the rock pools and stuff like that. That's good. The high bears are quite cool. We just have all the mini buses on the beach. And we're just going to go there. You probably might not be able to see it, but if you zoom in, there's a little island there that's um, in the I like Harry trying to skim this. And we're just giving it to her on the boat. We're just waiting for the boat and it's just coming in there. Harry. Bye. Harry. Bye. Harry. What's wrong, Iona? Well, Nathan's been telling me this really scary story. Um, on Inchcomb Island 30 years ago, they used to have this Halloween party. They would invite all the kids from the, the town and, well, they would wear these really amazing costumes. And then, well, there was this man that lived on the island and he had this skin disease and it made his face go all white and pale and he hated the children that was on the island because it was his home and he lived there for ages and ages. And what are you doing, Ayuna? Nathan said not to film it! Uh, the camera. Oh. Hi! I'm just going to throw some pebbles! Which isn't really working. Nathan found a dead crab. It's kind of weird and he's going to film it for some reason. That's the fourth road, Rich. And we just had a very loud train going up there. It's the train station. If you come back, you can see it. Come on. Yeah, we seem to have a dead crab. crab. Holly, did you hear about the story that Nathan was talking about? No. He was talking about the story about this guy. He had a really bad disease. He had this pale face. And he had... All, he was at this uh, Halloween party, and he doesn't really normally come out, but he came out this day, and um, all of these kids were teasing him, and uh, when that happened, uh, the, the guy was so angry that he misguarded all of the kids and put a curse on all of the Halloween costumes that, he was, that they were wearing. I don't really believe that, really. How could somebody put a curse on clothes? Well, it's 
impossible. And how does somebody kill like 50 children without it being on the news? I think Nathan's talking a load of rubbish. So this is a C. It's the fourth row bridge in the background there. And we're just, we're on the boat. Here's Ella and Natalie. There's an abbey over there. We're really close to it, so. Woo! These are some ruins and some buildings. Is, is there it? anyone? Guys, what is it? 